Hello, so good to see you. So, you've come in for a shampoo today. Well, we're going to take care of you, but I need you to sit down here if you would. That's right, just lay back and adjust that head a little bit. Let's get it back there. Perfect, just like that. Now, um, do you have any preferences today? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do the conditioning as well. But uh, I just want you to relax. This is all about you. This is all about you being comfortable and getting exactly what you want, okay? Now, let's get started. All right, just lean that head back. Is that warm enough for you? Let me warm that up just a little bit for you. There we go. All right. I've got the Paul Mitchell brand. It's uh, lemon sage. Is that going to be okay? Okay, great, great. Just going to get that out for you here. I'm going to start working that in. So are you doing all right today? Good. Now, I understand that you have a job interview coming up. Is that true? Is that what brings you in today to get your hair done? Well, I think that's great. I think they would be very lucky to have you. So what I need to do is make sure we get you spick and span for this. Okay. Let me just get a little bit worked up down there. Perfect. Now, I'm just going to start working this into your hair. Now, I haven't applied for a job in a while, so you don't have to tell me uh, what's the job market like out there. That bad, huh? <laughs> well, uh, I think you're going to do wonderful. And I will tell you that good impression does go a long way. Just work that in a little bit more. Now, what I heard is that most people make their decision about a person within the first few seconds of meeting them. And I certainly have found that that's true. It's not that you can't overcome it. It's just a simple fact that you do tend to make those decisions right away. and You tend to stick with them unless you get other information that tells you differently. Now, when I first met you a few years ago, when you first started coming in here, um, I think I had a pretty, pretty accurate. You're the kind of person who can go to a party and can do just fine, but you always feel a little alone in the party, don't you? Even though you're able to mingle and you're able to talk to other people, you always kind of feel set apart, don't you? Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Um, I heard a term for people like you the other day. It's called a introvert extrovert. <laughs> uh, and I think that definitely applies to you, is that you're able to bring it, but you're more comfortable just being... Uh, by yourself and by your own thoughts, but at need, you can do that. And I think that's what's going to make you do so well with this job interview. I think you're going to be able to bring that intellectual part, and uh, but at the same time, be able to speak up for yourself. Uh, for instance, I mean, my wife is an introvert, and she is probably one of the smartest people you've ever met. But uh, it's not that you wouldn't know that she's smart, because goodness, she, you do. But you don't get the full breadth of her knowledge right away because she's an introvert. She keeps it to herself. It's not important to her to let everybody know, like people like me who are hopeless introverts and uh, makes us perfect for jobs like doing hairdressing because I'm capable of talking for hours on end, as you probably noticed. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is we're just going to rinse out. I'm going to 
to rinse that out. You can lean up just a little bit there. Perfect, perfect. We're just going to start rinsing that out. I'm just going to work that out. You've got wonderful hair, by the way. I love your hair. I would kill for hair like this. <laughs> just going to work that out there. Very good, very good. Okay, you can lean back again. Thank you. And I'm going to start working the uh, conditioner in. This is also Paul Mitchell. I'm going to work that in there. There we go. Get a good lather going. I remember when I was a boy, I always wondered why conditioners don't foam up the way that so shampoo does. But of course, it's because they do different things. They're not meant to. Uh, foam up. Uh, they're chemically different. They're conditioning. They're not shampooing. So much of shampoo's job is partly to bind with your hair and remove excess dirt and oil. And that's not really the job of the conditioner. The conditioner is really getting in there and kind of help smoothing everything out. So we're going to work that in there. Work that in there. Good. Okay. I'm just going to start working that in. Now, Here's a question. If you get your new job, are you going to have to move? Well, I mean, you know, obviously I want you to do what is ever best for you, but I miss you. <laughs> uh, not just your patronage, but I like, I like talking to you. You're a very interesting person. Uh, don't tell anyone, but not all of my clients are as interesting as you. But... Uh, you do what's you do what's right for you. I hear that Austin is amazing. So if you get that opportunity, don't tell anyone. But I'm from there. Uh, but of course, it was a lot smaller when I lived there uh, back when dinosaurs roamed the earth. <laughs> uh, but if you get that opportunity, you know I wish you the best. I wish you the very best, and I hope that works out for you. Um, so this is what I'm told is that it's kind of a balancing act when you go in for a job interview because you want to make eye contact, but you don't want to make creepy eye contact. <laughs> you want to kind of keep that uh, on between. This is a good, solid initial eye contact and then uh, breaking off because especially if you're interviewing with a man, uh, it can become a dominance thing where it's like, mm. and that's the same with the handshakes. You want a good firm handshake, but you don't want to go overboard uh, because that can just cause all kinds of problems. So uh, after your interview, when do you think you'll know? Oh, trust me, I've heard. Um, I had a friend who was getting a job recently, and they thought it would take them, you know, few weeks, a month. It took them four months to find the job they were looking for. Four months. Can you believe that? It's awful. So just you know, what I what I want to tell you is if you don't get this job, don't feel bad. Don't don't worry about it. again, they've made their decision when you walk in there. So there's nothing that you can do at the end of the day except your best. If you do your best and you're the kind of person that they're looking for, you're going to get hired. And if you're not, there's literally nothing you can do to change that. All you can do is be your best self, be ready with those ridiculous questions that they ask. I wonder if they feel as ridiculous asking them as you do answering them. <laughs> I imagine that they do. All right, got this in pretty well here. Let's go ahead and rinse that out. They're looking very good there, very good. Now, uh, for what we're doing here, I'm going to do a very special cut afterwards, but I think you're going to look wonderful. I think you waited the optimal time for coming in for a haircut, because I, I need something to work with. If it's too short, I can't work with it. And if it's, uh, but if it gets too shaggy and too long, there's all the split ends and everything. And I can deal with that, but it's not as good. But so I think you, you came in at just the right time. I think we're going to be able to get this taken care of. If you don't mind, just go uh, lean back, lean up just a little bit. I'm just going to kind of work this down in the back, make sure I didn't miss anything. 
Let me get your, you're looking really good here. Let me get this all clean, all clean. All right, perfect, perfect. All right, I'm just gonna bring that in the back there. Good, 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 good. We'll dry that hair. Perfect. You ready to get that haircut? All right, let's go get you in the seat.